Excellency Chair, Excellency, distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. On behalf of the Ministry of Post and Telecommunication of Cambodia, I would like to thank ITU and the government of Romania for the warm hospitality in the ancient and beautiful city of Bucharest. As the world leaders are gathering in the UN General Assembly, we can see that many nations are calling for peace, stability, and multilateralism. All of us here as ITU member state also have a role to help contribute to these common goals. We need to continue the course to connect the unconnected and to build a digital society that are for all people, not just for a few, especially for our future generation. Digital transformation and the fourth industrial revolution technologies are tools, powerful tools that can help solve or can exacerbate our current global challenges. As we can see, the pandemic, climate change, and geopolitics are creating uncertainty in the world today. Will we use these tools the right way to solve the real problems that help millions of people, or will it make our current challenges worse? In the coming years, the coordination and directions of international organizations like ITU will be put to the test. Whether it will get stuck in disagreement, or it will uphold its purpose and gain members' trust to foster a better future. I hope it's the latter. Cambodia has established the Digital Economy and Society Council, chaired by our Samdaj Prime Minister Hun Sen, supported by three committee, Digital Government Committee, Digital Economy and Business Committee, and Digital Security Committee. This is an important milestone for Cambodia's digital transformation journey, as it has set a clear direction for the whole of government to move forward and to realize our visions to make Cambodia a high-income country by 2050. Taking this opportunity, I'm delighted to inform that the Royal Government of Cambodia is very excited to collaborate with ITU, Partner to Connect, Digital Coalition, and happy to be one of the pilot country to help contribute to the P2C pledges. ITU has supported our digital transformation objectives by identifying gaps, implementation strategy, which we would like to further explore together in the upcoming roundtable discussion in November in Cambodia. Before I conclude, I would like to thank all the outgoing ITU management team, especially, especially His Excellency Secretary General Hu Lin Zhao and Deputy Gen Secretary General Malcolm Johnson for your service and leadership to the ITU over these years. Under your leadership, we've seen a significant decrease in digital divide and more equitable development among developed and developing country. We wish you all the best in your future endeavor. And a big welcome to the new ITU leadership. We wish you all the best and look forward to continue the continued advancements of ITU vision and shared value. Thank you very much.